Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eliza. Hi if you're new and today I'm going to be showing you my fall essentials. So I have quite a bit of stuff to show you. Some of these I've had for over a couple years or so. So first things first, I think I'm going to get into tops. So for me I love to have basic like long sleeve kind of t-shirts. This is by Anna. You can get these at like JC Penny, just any type of basic long sleeve shirt. These are great for running rain. Super easy to throw under stuff. Another one are these puppy t-shirts. This one is from Marley Lily. And on the back it says Fall Essentials, Stuff Boots, Plaids, and Pumpkin Spice. This is a very large oversized one, which is great for leggings. Another one that I have is from Marley Lily. It has uh, kind of a hidden monogram, which I kind of like. And it says, every year I sell for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and monogram. This is also from Marley Lily. And then, of course, you need a flannel. This one is from St. John's Bay. I absolutely love this brand. They have just really cute, simple, classic styles. So this is one I got for Christmas last year because it does have this, uh, Kind of gold foil going through it so that's a nice one to wear for the fall another good basic to have is just a white buttoned oxford this goes great with vests you can put a sweater over this so this one i just got from target i think recently like a month or two ago another good essential to have is a cable knit sweater. So this is one that I've had for a couple years. I got this, I think, Black Friday from Old Navy. I absolutely love the quilting on here. It's very un different from normal sweaters, so I absolutely love this. But it's a good basic to have. Here it is still hot. During like the fall, we had like it's not quite cold yet. So another good basic to have, this is also by St. John's Day, and this is what I love about it. It's a twist on a basic white sleeve shirt. I love that it has like this little bell sleeve right here. This is absolutely adorable with a printer or just regular chinos. So great. And then of course we need uh, a button down chambray. chambray. So this is one I have. This one is by Liz Claiborne. It doesn't button down all the way, but it does have that detailing, which I personally like. So that is another self essential. And you can't go wrong with stripes. This is a Old Navy boat neck top, which is absolutely adorable. And I've had this one for a couple of years, I believe. So. These are things I've just gathered over the years. And I guess I'll go into bottom. You can't go wrong with a good pair of running shorts. These are just a pair of Nike ones. Um, I use these all year round. They're great. Another good essential to have are chinos. These are the Pixie chinos. I don't know if they still make these. But if you've ever tried old maybe pixie pants for the same material as those, I just have them in this black. Um, also, these were really out of my comfort zone. I absolutely love these camo pixie pants. They're, I love wearing like a white, a nice clean white t-shirt or like the t-shirt I showed you earlier with these and like the, a pair of white Jack Rogers. So cute. These hit me right around the ankle. So these are just the Pixie ankle cut, I believe. Yeah. So these are my favorite pair of Pixie pants, which I honestly didn't think I would love so much. So, yeah, I'm um, a good pair of jeans. 
is essential for fall. Those are uh, Old Navy Rockstar 24-7 jeggings, I believe, because they're, they're really silky. Um, these do hit me kind of long, so I do have to roll up the bottom, but that's about it. Just a good pair of dark blue jeans for the fall. And then, of course, every girl needs a pair of leggings. These are just, I don't even know the brand because I've had them for so long, but they have this little symbol right here. I don't know what brand this is, but I think I got these at either JCPenney or Academy, and they're super comfortable. Oh, now I guess it's more of outerwear. So, first things first, here it rains a ton. So. I just have my monogram rain jacket. This is from Marley Lily. I also have it monogrammed on the hood of the jacket. So this is something that I get a ton of use out of. I absolutely love it. Another thing is, oh, there's another vest in here, but our puffer vests. So these are two I have. This one is from Old Navy, as you can tell, and it's just this gray quilted puffer vest. And then I have this cream monogrammed one from Marley Lily. So these are, I get these, I size up in these normally because I do wear like a sweater or like a t-shirt underneath them or a long sleeve shirt. So I do size up in that. So I recommend doing that. Another thing that I wore like last year a ton is this Southern Shirt Company Terry Claw sweater. I wore this with leggings, I wore it with shorts, it was my absolute go-to last fall. Super comfortable, absolutely love this. Um, next is a Vineyard Vine sweatshirt. You can't go wrong with a Vineyard Vine sweatshirt. Um, I have a few of these, I absolutely love my navy one. I love pairing it with a vest or just some shorts. Um, so it's a very versatile piece and it's good to have in your closet. Great for wearing rain too. I also have another sweater. This is a Ralph Lauren one and this is a navy one. Yeah. So this is also great for wearing or wearing by itself. I love pairing it with that white button down shirt and having the white just pop through. And then wearing a vest over it's really cute. So that's also another good basic thing to have. More recent purchase that I got off of Poshmark is this Southern Proper uh, pullover. I don't know what it's called, but it has like this little pocket. And I went very large on this one just because it's more for lounging around the house or just running quick errands. I didn't want it to be so tight. Um, but I absolutely love this. Um, my husband thought I was crazy for getting it, but oh wow. So this is that. And that's also great for just wearing when you're cold, but when you're with a pair of leggings. Another vest that I have is this one. This, uh, I think it looks kind of like the Patagonia vest. Um, but this is from Target. It was in the men's section a couple years back. And I like that it has this pocket right here. So I can easily have it. And it does have, like, pockets on the side right here. So this you can throw on over a sweater or whatnot. Still look cute. And as you can see, I have a few of these. Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups all of them. Jean Sherpas. Love them to death. This was my very first one that I ever purchased. This is from Southern Marsh, and um, my husband doesn't call them Sherpas. He calls them Ewok jackets because we're a huge Star Wars fan. So this was like kind of like a fun, crazy purchase, but I absolutely love it. I've worn it so much. It's so comfortable, so easy to throw on with a pair of leggings or shorts or whatever, and you're good to go. Another thing that I think is an essential for fall is just a basic pullover with a monogram, of course. Um, I just have a white navy monogram pullover. So this is, I love this thing to death. I've worn it so much. I've worn it while traveling. I've gotten so many compliments on it. 
And then also another thing is these um, kind of quilted socks. These I got from the Target $1 spot. I don't know if they have them this year, but I have them in a few colors. So I have navy and black with me at the moment. I think I have like a raspberry color. So these are like my most go-to fall colors. Those are what I mostly wear. And I love having these peek out of my duct tape. So now I guess we'll get into the bottom accessories. I have to go get them. So. Okay, so for accessories and like shoes and stuff like that, I kind of have a lot just because it depends on like the weather. But you can't go wrong with a basic pair of flats. These are from Walmart, I believe, and these are leopard ones. Um, super cute, super cheap. Um, I've had these for, I think, two, three years. And they've held up pretty well. I haven't worn them as much as I would like because they are such a statement kind of shoe. Um, another thing that I was talking about are duck boots. So, these are my duck boots. These are the Marley Lily ones. And I have two pairs of these. I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. And I have mine monogrammed right there you can see and then these are also removable so these can be like a pair of just regular duck boots or you can have this one or I have a fuzzy pair of them so those are really really cute and super fun to kind of like dress up another pair of shoes that I love are loafers so these are my Marley Lily monogram loafers I recommend sizing up in these because they are kind of tight on my feet. So, but I did wear like a pair of thick socks and kind of blow dry them. So now they kind of fit a little bit better. But I absolutely love these. Um, they're pretty, really versatile. I absolutely love them um, just to dress up any kind of outfit that's a little casual. So these are a good thing to have in your closet. Also, a pair of boat shoes. These aren't the traditional boat shoes, but I absolutely love the style on me personally. I don't like the other style. I think it makes my feet look kind of weird. So these are ones that I have. I have them in white and this gray color. These are super comfortable um, just to wear if you're walking around a lot in the fall. So that's also a good must have. Also, a good pair of riding boots. These are kind of a splurge, but I think I got them on a Black Friday sale. These are a pair of suede Jack Roger riding boots. So, as you can see, it has the little Jack Rogers detail. I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable to wear. Um, I do want to get a pair of brown ones. I used to have a pair of brown, but they don't fit my calf anymore because I've had them for a while and they're kind of getting all messed up. But these are absolutely beautiful. I love these. I've worn them a couple times last year. But super casual, super comfortable. Also a good thing to have down here in the south is rain boots. So these do match my rain jacket. These are the navy matte hunter rain boots. Um, I absolutely love these. They stay downstairs by our front door all the time. So whenever it rains, they're just right there and I don't have to really look for them. But I do have a few, I think, four pairs of rain boots. So these are an absolute favorite of mine and essential to have down here because the rain is crazy. Ugh. And I'm starting to, okay. So another thing to have, and this I got recently, is this quilted southern shirt company hat. Baseball caps in general are good to have, but I like this one because it is like a thicker quilted hat. It's super cute. It matches a lot of my outfits. Um, it's a very versatile piece, and it's just something I could easily throw on when I'm having a bad hair day. And then also our purses. So, I have two purses to show you, the Longchamp Les Bayards, 
Um, this is the small navy one. I do have to get the button fixed. Sadly, it kind of snapped recently, but I absolutely love this. I get so many compliments on this bag. Um, so this is a good piece to have. It's a very good investment piece. Um, to have, mine hasn't started like fraying or anything like that, but they hold up really, really well, especially with the weather. It's always crazy down here. So, another one that was a big investment for me, and kind of my husband talked me into this, is this Barrington Yes, uh, St. Anne Tote. Um, this is the only thing I have from Barrington Guest, and then I have it monogrammed right here, and then it's in this kind of like deer print. It isn't fur. I have people always ask me if it is. They always want to touch it and see if it is. And just having a big old tote bag that you can throw everything into. I traveled with this. It holds up really well. Um, it's just you get kind of some weird look when you have like a deer printed bag but that's about it but i absolutely love that it's great for this time of year but also we have to talk about jewelry pearls are also a great thing to have um you don't have to go really expensive with them i got mine from claire's um also kind of statement necklaces so i have two here this one is from Target a few years back. I wore this for our engagement photos. And it's just really beautiful. I probably will never, ever get rid of that. Just because there are memories attached to it. And then this is also a recent one that I got. This is from Paparazzi. And it's like a $5 jewelry thing on Facebook. I don't think it's the same. But this is what it looks like. It has earrings to match it. So you get the earrings and the necklace for $5. And this is so lightweight and so beautiful. I have not worn it yet, but I'm super excited too. Also, another piece of jewelry from Kendra Scott that's more of a statement is this kind of long, um, I think it's called a ring necklace. I don't remember exactly how to... But I have mine in the Mother of Pearl and a gold setting. Um, I absolutely love this. I've worn it a few times. It's very, it was one of my very first Kendra Scott pieces. And I absolutely love it. I was like on my navy blue sweater that I have that I'll show you, my Ralph Lauren one. Super gorgeous on that. Also, another Kendra Scott necklace is the Elise kind of necklace this is just one that I grabbed real quick um any style of lace is really pretty I love them so it's everything also the, another good necklace is a monogram necklace this is I think a one inch rose gold one I don't remember where I bought it from but I'm pretty sure you can find it I need to clean it really really bad but this is my absolute go-to monogram necklace so and then last few pieces of jewelry that I have are a gold watch. This one is from Kate Spade. I do have another one that has a black uh, face to it. Um, but I figured I'd grab this one because it was the first one I saw. So this is the one that I normally wear when I'm not wearing my Fitbit. Uh, so this is what I normally wear. And then I will wear this. This is a Kate Spade bow kind of cuff um it just snaps like this um just a simple kind of cuff super pretty you can dress it up dress it down but that's pretty much all my fall clothing and accessories that i normally wear so if you're interested in more videos subscribe also comment below if you have any video suggestions i would be happy to do them um but i hope y'all have a wonderful day Bye.